to find the right words Man, my fucking head hurts I've been stuck up in it for years Hope I'm fluxing with the right flow I've been high, I've been low I have grown too cold for the tears If life is but a dream, then let's create it If life is just a game, then let's play it Take what weighs you down, I'll weigh it If you got something to say, then go and say it Yeah, 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 go and say it Baby, it's been a love Smokey ready for the morning and he's eating we sit and play and like wait for um, our nanny to arrive but we'll just hang out with him until obviously she gets here just do a little playtime make sure he's fed we're replacing your roof on the neighbor's house so we're watching it they're like ripping the thing apart I know our roof's like every 20 30 years yeah that that, that one is done but it's it's probably leaking that's why they finally had to do it it's probably leaking water Makes me want to do a shingle roof on the cabin. We're doing cedar shake wood. Cedar shake, that's those panels, right? Yeah, they're really oh, pretty they wood look panels. so good. Yeah. It's gonna just... Shingles are that. that, like asphalt shingles. I meant um, cedar shake, I meant wood shake, I guess wood panels. cedar shake is also a shingle, but... Uh, it's but made out of usually wood. Usually when you say shingles, it refers to the asphalt shingles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I won't touch it. You are just becoming a little man. Are you becoming a little toddler? I'm sort of excited for the toddler years. I don't know why. I'm right, yeah, me too. I'm like, want, I want a little more. Give me more. He's we need more. like you. Same spot. You do. <laughs> Mark on your nose. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Hi. Morning. Love Morning. you. I was just in a rush and talk. <coughs> yeah, the cedar shake sounds so good on the cabin, huh? So good. I know. Cedar shake is just... Mm. It's gonna need oh. to be like a more like gray color for not gray but regardless of what color it turns gray so right we could live there for like a year i know but i don't, I don't know do you want to like move in and no i was gonna say we could move, move in for like a year or even move in while we're building our farm i think i just like the convenience of being here so convenient. You know what I mean? I know. Workout, check. Check. Coffee next. Coffee. Um, coffee and bison quinoa. Wait, do we need anything at the store? Didn't you say you wanted to get a few things? Well, mostly like house essentials, like. Oh, that. Dishwasher soap. Right, okay, no, I'm gonna go later today and get that. We can go to Target though if you want. No, cause I wanna go to Old Navy and I wanna like look and take my time and I don't want you to be annoyed. Will I be? Yeah, for sure. I want to like, you know, I probably like make a TikTok and like really, you know, get into it. So just, you know. Yeah, it, it's hard during uh, weeks, like vlog week or vlogmas when we're daily vlogging for me, me not to feel like gotta get home I got to get home and edit. Yeah. Because I need to edit the video that's going up today. And if I start too late, then it's like an out of layer stress. So yeah. I love doing those errands, but for some reason during I know these times it's like harder. Yeah, I put more pressure on you to hurry up. I know. So I get it. Takes I away some it. of the enjoyment. Balance, from you know. Fun errands, at least. I know. All right, let's do it. Just heated up a little bison quinoa for breakfast. Hunter's doing it with eggs. I put it on salad because that's what I always do. And. We're about to get started for the day with work. So, here we go. Lots of computer work usually. I try not to pull on my computer until I'm done eating, but um, I think, I, I guess maybe we never clarified, but for work, we actually have a lot of computer like admin type of stuff. So all of like our partnerships that you guys see Everything there's a lot of like paperwork and sort of like technicalities that go behind that. You feel like 
draft things and send them for approval and there's edits and there's contracts and there's um, a lot of back and forth communication that's daily. So we showed in a previous vlog that we have a manager. We hired a manager in house. So we're not signed with like a management company. Mm -mm. Um, I guess we technically are, but it's like our own management company. And they handle a lot of our like day to day, like keeping us on track mm -hmm. and most of our communication with like the brands. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't take off a lot of the admin work we still have to do. So just because someone has a manager doesn't mean they're not doing back end stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it just means they. The manager takes a big load off their plate for the back and forth day-to-day -day conversations that mm -hmm. we used to have for the past six years with brands we would spend hours, hours every day back and forth with brands and now that loads off our plate and then so. we couldn't we would take away time from recording or something because you'd be sitting at the computer like nine to five basically and you're like wait i can't i want to vlog and like take pictures and make videos and stuff but you have to have like time to do that or it would ruin like the creativity because mm -hmm. you're like mind so boggled down from like computer work all day that by the time you go to film or you go to edit you're just like not feeling it yeah exactly but we've now have had this manager for coming up on two years yeah a year and a half two years yep um and it's been and really it's good so helpful like yeah. creating more space for us to be able to like continue to make as many youtube videos and content and stuff like that so basically we wake up each morning and we have like our own like communication system we use slack as like our network um and it makes it really easy because we have to do all our communication there and that's um, what we were used to using in our previous corporate jobs as well yeah we slack. both so use we are both slack. really familiar with it and i'm sure a lot of you guys if you have like corporate jobs use slack it's such a great interface um but yeah so we wake up each morning around like 839 he will send a list of everything that is like needs to be done today so um all campaigns that need to be shot that need to be due and usually like i'll shoot sometimes two to three campaigns in a day maybe like for instagram tiktok stories youtube it could be like all different places um some of which is going live that day some of which goes through like approval a, process uh, approval process for a couple of days sometimes it takes a couple of weeks for a brand to approve that's rare exactly for some reason i feel like most of the brands that i work with <laughs> take like three weeks to approve. yeah they're like usually bigger brands i guess mm -hmm. or i don't know more old school yeah um Traditional, but maybe. every brand is different some mm -hmm. most of them or almost all of them require approvals but some are like within an hour some are within a couple days some are within a couple weeks so yeah we have to like schedule out when we shoot something based on when it's supposed to go live in order to make sure we hit those timelines and deadlines so totally really no different than any other job but i know people are fascinated um and think that it's just like you're perusing around prancing around town like taking cute pictures and cute outfits it's definitely not exactly that if you want to choose to believe that it's more power to you but um i think if you started doing it every day you would see the hustle that it takes and actually a lot of content creators most of the ones we know are actually quite business minded it's like a really just like an entrepreneurial job and you have to stay like super self-motivated and structured in order to make it happen because um it's just there's just so much more to it than um making things look pretty even though that's what you see on the other side so granted it is more fun than sitting in a oh for place. sure i mean i think i'm we are so lucky and privileged to be in this position and i'm very thankful for it but um just giving you guys some insight so yeah but it, it does take a couple years three four years to yeah. build mm -hmm. in order to be full-time in something like this like totally it's most people that are like trying to start out like it, it's a balance of your full-time job mixed with content creation yeah we did it like for i want to say three years until we even saw like a penny from it mm -hmm. um and that was working full-time corporate jobs and then content creating on the weekends and it took a really long time so um i think a lot of people just see where people are once they've already like gained traction and they're like oh it just like happens but like it takes time you guys so don't give up if you want to do it i think there's plenty of room for everybody mm -hmm. everyone has something you need to share so you definitely should, but you just gotta be ready for like a journey and a climb, but that is the fun of it, so. Also, if you are an Instagrammer and YouTuber, 
and you watch and you don't have management, yeah, reach out. We're always adding people, looking to add people to the roster for sure of the management company. We have if one of it's other, a good fit. Yeah, if it's a good fit, mm -hmm. um, it has to make sense for you. It has to make sense for us. And we have one other individual on the roster already for the past year, but we wanted to keep it pretty niche and specific to creators who are on Instagram and YouTube. So yeah. if that's you and you've been wanting management, let holler. us know. Holla at your boy. The thing about the business we're in is like it always constantly feels like it can be like pulled from underneath you. Yeah. Like you build your business, but like it's not a machine that's operating without you. Like you have to keep, keep it, it pumping, keep the machine going. Mm -hmm. And so that's one thing is like we can maintain it. And obviously keep all you guys happy, keep our current brand partners happy, but that's how a business dies if you just keep it like at a certain level. We know like it takes a lot of work to keep it growing and keep it afloat, and there's always a fear of it being ripped from underneath you. Yeah. And so I think that drives us a little bit, but seeing the journey from day one to where we are now to now we're like helping other creators like make money and stuff like that as well. It's been really cool to see and like we just want everyone to know the creator space is something that is very fun, very cool, very flexible. Yeah. Anyone can go do it if you have the right drive, mm -hmm. the passion for it, mm -hmm. the work ethic, and uh, the commitment to making it your own. Totally. So anyway. Okay, do you think you want to say it? it just sounds, I think that you do a paragraph too, or like, just add some, I mean, add some uh, shit. Okay, let me read it first. I, I don't have enough let to say. read it first. Okay, for some reason, Hunter and I are digging through his camera roll, because we need to grab a few things. <laughs> and it's, he's way back I'm, in the camera roll. What year is this? I'm way back. This is December of 2015. So 2015, this is almost nine years ago, you guys. Nine okay? years ago. And look, put the image up, up on the screen. Yeah. It, says, it says things needed for YouTube, YouTube channel. Things needed for a YouTube channel. <laughs> it says like certain lens, certain tripod, lighting, mic, mm -hmm. camera options, camera slider, adjustable height desk from Ergo Depot. <laughs> Mike Mini to edit videos or Mac Mini to edit videos on. So, so funny. Cute. I guess this is this is we were living in Dallas. This is before we moved I know, to San Francisco. Because that's remember when we were moving there, and I was like, I wanna because I wasn't taking my job to California. Yeah, you're like, like, you had YouTube a channel. new job, and I was like, this is when this is the time. I but this start. But this was, I hadn't taken the job yet, and I hadn't been interviewed. Right. So this was oh, like before so we even thought, we were already about thinking it. about it. Crazy. There you guys go. 2015, guys. I think. I think it probably actually started in 2016. It, it no, started in 2016 because that was December. Wait. So then we Yeah, because we got married in 2015. This was only yeah. August, September, October, November. This was four months after we got married. I mean, I always wanted to do it. That's crazy. Always. Since the, like, the Jaclyn Hill days, Desi Perkins, like, when I watched them when I was younger. Jaclyn Hill, if you guys know, like, when she was in her kitchen, those videos, like, that's how long I was watching YouTube, and I was like... I want to do this so bad. Mm. So funny. I feel like Carly's yeah. always been a YouTube watcher too, hasn't mm -hmm. he? It's like when me and Carly became friends, the one we were at her house the other night, we always like love the same things. Makeup, we watched YouTube. <clears throat> so we met in math class sophomore year and then we, and we started writing like notes and stuff back and forth to each other. And then we worked at the in-town tanning salon together the next year actually junior and senior and we've always just liked the same things like clothes uh, makeup m country music we've always had like so just so many things in common and to this day we have tons of common too like we love home isn't your story of when you met tiana during rush yeah y'all also bonded over like youtube yeah actually my other really good friend tiana you guys have seen on this channel too i met in line at Rush in college and we met because we were, I was like talking about, I think maybe one of like Jacqueline Hill's YouTube videos or something, which I don't even watch Jacqueline anymore, but you know, back in the day I did. Um, <clears throat> and she was like, oh my God, she was a YouTube watcher also. And so we started talking about that and it's just so funny, like you will be like drawn to the people that <clears throat> 
you know, have the same interests and stuff. It's like an energetic thing. So those are like my two closest friends now, which is really funny. But anyways, um, it just doesn't cool show to you that. love for YouTube. I know, just like a passion. And I think that's why I've recently, I've fallen in love with TikTok a little bit more because I feel like TikTok is almost like YouTube, but in a different format. It's like raw and real and... It's old YouTube. It's like, yeah, but it's in short format. So I've had to get used to kind of creating videos in that style. And it's like a lot, you guys, like me vlogging every day and then TikToking and like... I'm trying to get the hang of it, um, but I've definitely been uploading at least like two, twice a day on TikTok, so I'm really over there a lot, and you guys, like a lot of you guys are over there and like, love it, and thank you so much for like supporting, it's really fun, but I love, I think I realized, oh, I can just be just as chill and casual on TikTok as I can on YouTube, um, and so I've just been having so much more fun over there, and it's really fun, and it's just so fast. You can like throw things up, try all different things. It's just playful, and you feel like a little kid at camp, like making a video or something. Look at this uh, picture of our living room in California in 2016, eight years ago. Oh my god! Those couches were cute, actually. I remember them. We got those on Facebook Marketplace. We got them on Craigslist. Craigslist. I remember it was like five hundred dollars, guys. Our first that was our living apartment room at our apartment. There's like a little house rental in California, in Mill Valley. Mm -hmm. We chilled there a lot. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Remember that piece? Yeah. We bought it, but that was the house. Oh, that, that was, was a in. good piece, actually. Mm -hmm. We used to like. You no, know, those best pieces were from that lady on Craigslist that was in Mill Valley. The white cabinet, that corner cabinet. We mm -hmm. ended up getting rid of that, but. That was a cute house, do you remember? We were thrifting early on. And she, we came in and she, oh yeah, from day one, Hunter. Mm -hmm. Hunter and I used to buy like furniture off of Craigslist and we would like go get like antiques from people's houses and like offer like, you know, $200 for it or whatever since literally the beginning. Um, we loved it. We loved it. We've always loved it. Oh, look at our bedroom. Show that picture. Crazy. That was you with goose in bed. Goose. That was our bedroom. Oh my god. We had that Urban Outfitters bed. It was a vibe. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a little bungalow house. It was like a We were trying to make it like bungalow vibes. Mm -hmm. I remember sleeping good in that bed. We would sleep hard. It was hard. dark. It was dark and cold. But there were rats in the wall. There were, there were rats in the wall of our first apartment. I trapped over like 20 something rats in like a matter it, of like seven days. It was rough. And we were, this is the thing, like, California is so expensive. I think our rent was, like, $3,500 for a, it was a converted garage, you guys. Like, it wasn't even a real, probably even, like, legal unit. It was a converted garage that was converted <laughs> for the workers who were building the Golden, the Golden Gate, Gate Bridge, Bridge back whenever it was built. So yeah. this is, like, an old, run-down little yep. nothing of a place, but um, we loved it at the time. And we were right across from Horse Hill, like, we hiked and... Yeah, we, um, anyways, it was, it was just really t tiny, and, um... It's cool looking at our progression, like, even going from, definitely. from that to this, like... We were like, oh my when god! We, when we moved from there to our Texas house, and, like, remember that feeling of walking into our Texas house? Well, what's cr oh my god, Hunter, it was like we had literally landed the lottery, and I think because... We were living in that really tiny place in California and then we got like rats and it was just like the laundry was outside and it was just, it was, it was a little rough, but it was cute. Like we did it. Um, and then took just less. Our mortgage took was less, less for a mortgage and saved up some money for our down payment and mm -hmm. got our house in Texas, which is when the journey like really, really began. And that's when, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, things started picking up a little I bit. I think also a big part of it, it wasn't even so much like the living situation in Mill Valley. Like we, we didn't like hate it. No. But it was the constant grind of like we were waking up at like five thirty just to make it across the Golden Gate Bridge in time to work and we were getting mm -hmm. home at like six seven o'clock at night. We didn't work we, out. Like we had no we had our health was trash. We were just exhausted, I think. Exhausted. Like just like physically run down. We we looking back unhealthy. at old pictures we look really unhealthy. Yeah. And when we moved to Texas, both of our companies let us keep our jobs and we didn't have state income tax anymore. So we were saving even more money. Yeah. And it was just like, it was a perfect situation to allow us to build the channel. 
to a place where we could eventually go full time. Totally. And we just had so much more time to like focus on that, blossom more, so much more life balance. Um, we slowly like did that and then we like started our fitness journey and we like got a little healthier. But like we consciously were like, we were living in California just grinding and we were like, this is not it. This yeah. ain't it. We were like, we are stressed, we're tired. Like we I don't see how this is gonna keep going. And we were making like really good, good money, money for our like, age. Like, really good money well, for Well Hunter our was more Hunter was in sales. I worked at Sephora and I didn't make much money. I think I made like sixty thousand dollars. You were making you were making when like salaries. I think when you started you were like at forty and you got it up to sixty after like a few years. Yeah, so it wasn't much, but Hunter made way more in sales and that income, yeah. like, really, like, but supported our even lifestyle. Now, I, obviously, like, everyone likes to make money, but, like, it's more about, like, mental sanity and happiness. Absolutely. And we, we were making good money then, but we knew the potential and how lucrative, like, this business could be. So we were so motivated and focused on, like, yeah. getting YouTube instagram basically being content creators yeah to a place where we can leave our full-time jobs because we knew that it would pay off i think before i even knew about the opportunities though in social media i had just it was like a like a little girl dream like since high school i just wanted to be mm -hmm. like on youtube um so it started like, with that i was more like business about it yeah like, are we wasting our time is really right. wasting her time right. like this no, which to, I think you need if we're gonna pursue this it needs to make sense and then when we saw the potential, we were like, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, baby. You can put, like, the two of us together and, like, make it into something. And look where we are now. Yeah. So yeah. We, we say all this because we didn't it mean to go down this rabbit yeah. hole. But we look back on our life and, like, we're so grateful for the journey we've had. Even up to this point, if it all stopped totally. today, we would still be, like, so grateful for what we've been able to experience, experience and achieve through this business. Yeah. And obviously it couldn't have been possible without you guys support and like no. watching all the time But do want to say like it took so much hard work and sacrifice totally. Like when we lived in Texas, we did we were so living so close to family. We didn't even see them much No, we didn't see any friends much we no like friends. we were just working 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 We worked so much yeah. and it was fun though Like I mean, I think like the cool thing is about this is that you know I think a lot of you guys love all the things that we love travel home food family all those things and well, like your support allows us to just be able to explore more of the things that we all love mm -hmm. and sure like will. for example the cabin project this would never be happening if it weren't for you guys um and this whole situation and we're obviously going to like bring you along that whole journey so it's sort of just like a it's a team effort you and us it's a collaboration and then we get to like continue to do these things mm -hmm. and show them um and we hope that you guys just have fun with it we we love doing it so yeah. Yeah. Last thing I'll say is like what Julie said earlier. If you want to do it, you do it. Do it, you guys. And it I... doesn't, not, not even just content creation. If there's something you've been wanting to do and you've been considering it or nervous about or you've been wanting to explore or attempt or pursue, whatever it might be, yeah. do it. I like Try truly it. believe that if you have like something on your heart that you really want to do and it's like in there, then I don't think that's like for. A reason I think like spiritually energetically whatever you believe it's there for a purpose like a soul's and 100 percent and if you apply the focus and energy and time that it needs to come true I think it 1000% can it might take a while and a lot of hard work like none of these things come easily mm -hmm. um, but I think it can definitely happen so don't be discouraged. Y'all got I, it. Yeah, got you this. can do it. Anyone can have it if you want it, but it's definitely not going to come without a fight, kind of. So. 2024 yeah. is the year for you. Get after it. Go do it. Yeah. Start now. And don't hesitate. Just jump into it and try it. Totally. You may hate it, but how will you know? You'll only have regrets if you don't do it. I know. Anyways, it's liver time. Okay. All right. I'm going to chase it with granola. Liver queen. Back. Liver Queen's back. Are you ready for how are you gonna do it this time? I'm just time? gonna chunk it. You, you were so dumb. Okay, fine. Maybe like halves. You know, instead of being so like firm, what? If you just like. Like this is perfect. Okay, you want me to. I'll do your method. Fine, I'll, I'll do your method. Let's try it. Do me up. Do me up. I'm basically putting them down into little breast strips. Ew, that's disgusting. 
But listen, you don't even have to chew because they're so small. You can pop them in like pills. I should chew it. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh. I feel sick. Oh my god. Don't even chew them, just put them in and swallow it. Like mm. a pill. I want the benefits. You want the benefits? It's good microbiome for your mouth. I think it's worse like that. Really? <laughs> yeah, it prolongs it. <laughs> Okay, just got ready for the day, um, and I'm making a little snack. So, I always love snack ideas, so I'm showing. Greek yogurt, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries, and my new favorite granola. Oh, God, you guys, I'm addicted. Yum. It's so good. Yep. Pretty delicious. Mm. Okay, we needed to get out of the house, so we're going to our little neighborhood at Martin's. We're both about to blow a fuse. We are literally. <laughs> Like, we, have been non -stop day. <laughs> we have been so busy, and then we just got had a work thing that kind of blew blew up, and Hunter and I are just both raging, and we're like, we need to get out of here right now because we're gonna blow <coughs> you. So it's like one of those things when you're like looking at something for so long, and then something's off, and then no, I don't know. Just frustrating. So we're going to get some dinner. Martin's is kind of our go-to. We've talked about it before, but just if you want something pretty casual and it's really cozy, low key, neighborhoody. Food's da pretty damn good, yeah. and it's, yeah, it's chill. We love it, it's our little home spot. He was like, I had a clip from a podcast he was on, he was like saying how he, even when he has like, he's like, I've gotten so many plaques for like all my music, and I have like, you know, all the money I could want, and blah, blah, blah. He's like, I, it still like didn't hit. Like it never, mm -hmm. even at that point, and he's like, I realized at some point, like the approval I was looking for was like my own, and yeah. like that's what you have to get. It's true. And I'm like, so how did you do that? Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. No, it's true. And now to wake up with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head. You can cool my desire.